Hi everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. This is the Apostate Prophet. I noticed I have been very serious in my uh, recent two or three videos, so I just wanted to make things a bit more relaxed again. I want to talk about something that we are always accused of if we criticize Islam. You know, we are always accused of uh, racism, xenophobia, uh, hate speech, hate crime, fascism, Nazism white supremacy, whatever. I've been accused of all of them. Um, even though, you know, I wish I was a good Nazi, but I, you know, yeah, I'm just kidding. So I just want to come to that racism claim. I think that's mostly made by people who don't even know what the definition of that word is. Racism is when you have prejudice, when you have prejudice or hate, or you think uh, a race is superior than others based on race and ethnicity. Well, uh, in, in the case of Islam, it is not based on ethnicity. In the case of Islam, it is based on Islam itself, which is a horrible idea. An idea like communism, an idea like Nazism, an idea like Christianity or like Judaism, an idea like whatever. You aren't born a Muslim and can't change anymore. What about me? Did I change my race? I mean, I was born into a Muslim family. I was raised as a Muslim. I was a strong believer at some time. Now I'm not anymore. So what what happened to me now? Uh, was I a Muslim then and now I'm white? That's why I'm now a racist if I criticize my former religion? <laughs> what about uh, white people? What about white people who, are, who convert to Islam? What about white people who uh, are born into a Muslim family? What happens to them? Are they now uh, victims of white of the racism that comes from white people or something i don't know see the reason why racism can't even be equal to criticizing islam or muslims is that in racism it means you are prejudiced or you hate people based on their ethnicities and races that they can't change anymore they have to live with that forever and you make theories you make pseudoscience and hate and whatever about them because of their race or ethnicity while in islam it's not the same in islam you are just a Muslim. You just believe in this uh, idea. You can also choose not to believe in it. You can also, uh, just like me, research it, live it through, and then decide you don't want to believe in this anymore. Then you are not responsible for that anymore. You are not a Muslim anymore, which means racism and the criticism of Islam is totally not equal. It's not the same thing. You know, it's not like some people hate me or some people think I'm inferior and I have to live with that forever. That's not the same thing. It's 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 cruel to <laughs> explain it like this, but that's basically why racism and the criticism of Islam and Muslims can never be the same. Before I made this video, I just went online to see what uh, different articles, what different media sources say about this whole thing. Well, what you see there is that... Uh, Sources like Vox, for example, or others, uh, make these stupid claims like, okay, uh, Islam is not a race, but uh, it is still racism because the hatred of Islamophobia is based on the ethnicities that are mostly associated, identified with Islam. <laughs> That's bullshit. The vast majority of people who criticize Islam and Muslims don't do this based on their skin color, based on where they come from. The same people don't go out and hate uh, Far Eastern, Far East Asian people. They don't go out and hate Indians all the time. They don't go out and hate uh, Arab Christians or, or, or Jews in the region. They don't go out and hate us ex-Muslims. I have never seen such a thing before. There are white Muslims, there are Arab Muslims, there are Turkic Muslims, there are Hispanic Muslims, there are African Muslims, black Muslims, there are Far East Asian Muslims. There's every kind of Muslim. I mean, racism, seriously? People who hate people based on their skin colors are a tiny minority. Such people can be found on online troll forums or things like that. Uh, unfortunately, the media tries everything to uh, push everyone into that corner and to make them somehow popular. I don't know why. I don't even want to mention their name, you know, the new neo-Nazis. We criticize Islam. We don't criticize anything based on uh, politics or ethnical differences. That's not the point. And the criticism of Islam, people's distrust and dislike of Islam is also not based on terrorism. I mean, I think, honestly, I mean, who can deny that? That extreme terrorism in the world, mostly made by Islamic terrorist groups, has an effect on this. But that's not it. 
I mean, I criticize Islam. I criticize Islam because of Islam itself, because of what Islam says, because of what the Quran says, because of what the Hadith say, because of statistics that we find about Muslims. Terrorism has absolutely no influence in this. I never even talk about ISIS or Al-Qaeda or whatever. Well, I just said statistics. Let's come to that point. Popular social media platforms have banned and blocked me and others multiple times for posting things like statistics. You find statistics, especially those of Pew Research, there are very, very useful statistics there, key findings about Muslims, about the Muslim world, and you can find in those statistics things like um, that the majority of Muslims support the death penalty for adultery, the death penalty for blasphemy. That is, that a very, very significant amount of Muslims, about a half, supports the idea that uh, apostates should be killed for their apostasy. Well, if you make such things public, that somehow is, con is, is conceived also as racism and spreading hate and this and that. So, I'm not allowed to talk about statistics because some people might react um, hatefully or violently on them. Statistics are not racist. Statistics are honest. Statistics don't care about your feelings. I'm sorry, I plagiarized Ben Shapiro here. Many bring up things like, uh, well, the Islamic world is kind of backwards nowadays, but um, what about the West? I mean, that's our fault, right? I mean, because we invade them all the time, like, uh, like uh, in all these wars, like, uh, you know, um, the Iraq war, like, uh, we invaded this country, like, yeah, you know, right? and stop spreading hate. Well, that has nothing to do with it again. Most of Muslim countries were never invaded in the last hundred years by any kind of Christian or Western force. I don't know what Christian force even refers to. There's no such thing right now. Most Muslim countries are doing not so well by themselves. Criticizing Islam has nothing to do with conflicts that are going on in the Middle East. Islam in itself is bad and f horrible. It needs to be criticized. Another thing is that there are now Muslim activists in the West, like a woman whose last name translates to cockroach. <laughs> she's speaking and she's promoted by uh, dubiously by people who claim to be for uh, liberalism and progressivism. While she speaks for Muslims, she talks about racism. And people who support her, I mean, accuse people who are critical of Islam and the Muslim world of racism. But she herself and people like her go out and uh, talk about white people and how bad white people are and about, and the, about the oppression that comes from the white people and stuff like that. So criticizing Islam is racism, but making such judgments about white people in general is not racism. Well, they say it's not racism because it's a form of resistance. What f resistance. There is no oppression of Muslim people. Muslims are denied no rights in the West at all. Nowhere. Muslims have absolute freedom in the West. Muslims have freedom of speech in the West. They can talk a lot of garbage in the streets and still not be uh, taken down for that, still not be imprisoned for that. Well, go and try to do the same thing in Islamic countries. Freedom of speech is a Western value that we need to protect. Freedom of speech does not exist in the Islamic world. It exists nowhere in the Islamic world. I will mention Turkey again, because I lived in Turkey. Turkey, a country which is called uh, one of the most moderate, one of the most modern Islamic countries. Uh, sorry, predominantly Muslim countries. In Turkey, if you criticize Islam openly, you can go to jail and you can be fined. If you criticize the government, you can go to jail and be fined. If you criticize the president, you can go to jail and be fined. In every other predominantly Muslim country, it's the same. You have no freedom of speech. You have no right to criticize religion, no right to criticize the government, no right to criticize the regime, nothing. You don't have freedom of speech. It doesn't exist. The West is where people can say whatever they want, unlike the Islamic world. Freedom of speech will prevail. As said, I didn't change my race. I was born into a Muslim family. I grew up a Muslim. I believed in Islam firmly. And now I'm here. I got out of Islam and I criticize it because it's a very bad idea. No one can take that right away from me. I will do that forever. And that's not racism. It's not a hate crime. I incite in no way violence whatsoever and discrimination of people in no way. I don't do such things. In a free society, we have to have freedom of speech. In a free society, we have to be able to criticize ideas. We have to be able to criticize bad ideas. And people are responsible for holding bad ideas. We can talk and say everything about Nazism. Why do we always have to care about uh, the non-existent infringement of rights of Muslims? There is no such thing. 
well that's it i just wanted to get this out in the world um i see this every time i have been accused of being a white supremacist i want to leave you alone with a christopher hitchens video i love him this is one of my favorite videos of him not only because it's about islamophobia and islam also because it takes guts to make such a speech when you have such a fan base enjoy it and pay for the rope that will choke you this is very urgent business ladies and gentlemen i beseech you resist it while you still can and before the right to complain is taken away from you which will be the next thing you will be told you can't complain because you're islamophobic the term is already being introduced into the culture as if it was an accusation of race hatred for example or, or, or bigotry whereas it's only the objection to the preachings of a very extreme and absolutist religion watch out for these symptoms they are not just symptoms of surrender very often ecumenically offered to you by men of God in other robes, Christian and Jewish and smarmy ecumenical. These are the, these are the ones who will hold open the gates mm -hmm. for the barbarians. The barbarians never take a city till someone <coughs> holds the gates, the gates open for them. And it's your own preachers who will do it for you and your own multicultural authorities who will do it for you. Resist, resist it while you can. And if you wonder what will happen if you don't, look and see how a cricket team in Middlesex in England had to change its name by force last week because it was called and had been for years the Middlesex Crusaders. Look and see how stories about little pigs can't be taught to children in English schools anymore lest offence be taken by the religion of peace. Resist it while you can. Thank you for watching guys. You can follow me on social media. The links are below in the description. And if you want to support me on Patreon, I would be very thankful. You can support me with only one or two dollars if that's fine for you. Uh, you would do me a great help by doing that so we can make this whole thing much bigger and spread the word. Take care and we will see each other in the next video. Stay away from Islam.